James Curtis. Okay. Welcome to Harbour Down TV. Thank you very much. You are featuring in episode three. Oh, also, the first uh, non overseas player to feature on Harbour Down TV. Wow, an honour. Indeed. So, we'll start it simple. Uh, how long have you been at the club? Uh, I've been at the club since 2007. Good year? 2007. Well, we went up, we were promoted in the first division in my first year uh, with the club. Yeah. Uh, no pattern there, I'm sure. Um, but yes, that was a good year, very exciting. Um, nearly died from stress related uh, problems at Edgerton. Edgerton, in, in now I hear that was a good game. game. Extremely uh, tense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we nearly lost Jumbo that day as well. And yes. uh, until some. Wonderful batsman hit a four off the last ball, I believe it was, or nearly the last ball. I don't know who that was. No? No. Oh, it must be a, a lost hero. A lost hero, indeed. indeed. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, how did you find Harper Down Cricket Club? Uh, on the internet. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Were you introduced by anyone in particular? No. Uh, no. I found it myself. Well, I was looking for a, sort of a, a thriving and exciting. Um, sort of go-getting type club and I found it was playing on Sundays, it was playing indoor league, it was you know two teams on a Sunday, um, exciting overseas players coming in every year, they never leave but they seem to turn up every year um, and yeah so it looked like the place for me, I came up and, and I stayed. Okay, so since you've been here what are your best bowling figures? My best bowling figures um, were four for fourteen at Hawkinge. I was, I was bowling extremely fast, very aggressively, um, on quite a bouncy track. Um, the opening batsman didn't really have a, a clue what to do, um, so our captain helped him out and took me off to make a game of it. Um, he was right; he did make a game of it, and that relied on Adam Williams gloving one for one off the last ball. So, well done to the skipper that day. He did make a game of it. But yeah, so my best bowling figures is 4 for 14, yeah. Excellent. Sounds like a phenomenal day out for you. Uh, while we're talking about your cricket career here at the Mighty Village, um, what's your favourite game that you've played in? Favourite game? Well, there have been lots. Every game's a good game. Um, <coughs> but uh, probably a favourite game was beating Wingham up here in the year that we won the KBL. Um, it was just uh, always nice to play Wingham, always nice to beat Wingham, and particularly nice for me, probably the favourite moment in that game was when I bowled Jamie Watkins out for the first wicket of the game, just really sort of set up a feeling of, you know, we're going to do it, we're going to win. Um, and it's just a great game, great performances by everyone that day. Excellent. Okay. Well, we'll move slightly away from the cricketing side of your role here at Harbin Out Cricket Club. Um, are there in fact any positions that you haven't held within Harbledown as an official committee member? Second team vice captain. Third team captain, I think that's next year. Um, no, I think groundsman. Oh, okay. I haven't been groundsman. I don't know what to do out there, so yeah, not getting involved. Okay. And while we're on that, to uh, that thread, um, how do you feel about your new role this year as official caterer to the club? Well, I'm excited. Um, it's, it's been very good. Um, I learnt a lot about catering, mass catering, particularly with sandwiches. Um, and, well, actually, that one is the most important thing. We all know that 80 overs is such a long time. <laughs> Nobody is going to survive 80 overs without some cake. So, at least I know that I'm, I'm helping these poor, wasting away cricketers through a long, arduous afternoon standing. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. Uh, so next then, uh, what would be your proudest moment at at the village? Well, my proudest moment. Well, we had two really. One was winning the KBO. That was wonderful, um, especially with such a diverse uh, squad that year in the first team. Um, I think we had over 54 people playing for the club that year. Let alone who knows how many playing for the first team. Um, so that was an extremely proud moment, having the whole club really working together to win that award for us. Um, and then also, when we did manage to set up the youth system up here, that was a great thing. So, uh, 
Describe your relationship with wine in one sentence. Extremely close. Is that a sentence? That's all I'm getting, isn't it? Full stop. <laughs> Full stop, okay. Uh, what's your funniest memory of funniest memory of Harbour Down Cricket Club? Every moment is a joy at Harbour Down um, and I had nothing to do with people falling backwards off stools and not spilling their drinks. Um, I don't know what that would refer to. Uh, every moment's funny. Excellent. No names. Especially when one of your children shouted, Why did you play that shot the other week when you got out for a duck? That was handy. <laughs> I was restrained. In indeed you were. Uh, Ooh, and gloves on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> if you could bring back one village hero, who would it be? Um, oh, I guess how far away have they gone? I mean, if you could bring PJ back, you'd always want to do that. Um, the other one of those three, Mr. Ferris, would be good to have back as well. Um, other heroes would be Mr. Johnson. Um, and from a cricketing point of view, I'd love to have... Uh, Jumbo, uh, Matthew Robinson, um, they, they would, they're all village heroes to me and it would be great to have them back. If I've missed anyone else, it's through poor memory more than anything else. Okay, you've reached the quick fire round and then you're free to drink more wine. Oh, thank you. Okay, three seconds to answer each question, otherwise soups will do something. Good. Okay, okay ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> favourite holiday destination? France. Uh, favourite item on the tea table? Cherry tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> favourite animal? My children. <laughs> favourite fruit? <laughs> uh, ben. Favourite shower? Jimmy. Uh, favourite wine other than Blue Nun? Champagne. Uh, Favourite memory from winning the league? Wingham. Was Sam out at selling? Yes. <laughs> uh, you be out off your move? <laughs> I thought so. Uh, is hockey a girl sport? No. Uh, uh, Favourite food? Uh, cricket teas. <laughs> red, white or rosé or all three in a jug? Get red and white and you can blend your own. Thank you very much.